Now the part we're all dreading. There, there. And Pete, you've been a good Seamoth. But I have to take the Seamoth Depth Module MK3. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm really sorry. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. We're playing some more Subnautica. I am Dirk Gills, and I introduce to you Pete 3. <laughs> I know the last Pete was just Pete, but technically he was Pete 2. Uh, I didn't name my very first Seamoth. I didn't name the Seamoth until the second one. So, if I would have thought about it at the time, I would have named the first one Pete 1. It doesn't matter. It's Pete 3. Uh, as you know, if you saw the last episode, my Seamoth is currently stuck on the foundation of the third Degasi base. If we look at the Degasi logs, we've looked at these before. We have one, two, three here. Then we have one, two, four, five. One, two, yeah. One, two, four, five. Okay, so if I remember correctly, these logs came from the island that had the three structures, like one on each tip of the mountain and then one down deep. Uh, so there, I, I'm thinking, I don't know, I hope, I'm thinking there's a log at that island. So I, I'm pretty sure I have it marked. I hope I have it marked in my beacon manager because if I don't, uh, and then that's just going to be bad. Here's Beacon Degasi Base 3. I have the alien building marked. I think, but I think that I think it's run the rendezvous point is where I think it is. Okay, so the rendezvous point is this way. I'm pretty sure that's where that Degasi habitat was. We're gonna go there, and um, I'm having to backtrack, guys. I don't know. Like, there's just stuff missing, and I want to make sure I have everything before I go to the thermal plant alien structure I, I think it's the third it's the one in the lava center i'm pretty sure it's called uh, pretty sure it's gonna be the thermal plant one uh we did find an orange tablet at the third degasi base i don't know what that's for i found purple tablets but no orange tablets i don't have any upgrades on this seamoth i need to go down to the degasi the third degasi base and get my upgrades and the rest of my inventory out of that seamoth and i probably should do that sooner than later i probably should have done that first actually I'm not sure if it'll get destroyed while it's down there, like by predators. I don't know if that like happens while I'm not around, you know what I mean? There's the back of the Aurora. All right, we're just going to leave it here. We're not going to get stuck. Pete, you stay right there. All right, so we're going to go up here. Make sure we've scanned everything. All right, yeah, there's one at the tip top right there. Let's just go this way and we will get up to the tip top. I mean, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe this way. I think I also... Didn't that activate like the portal here? Here, we'll go to the one on the ground first since we're just on the ground. I think it's right through here. No, maybe not. Now, I bet this. I mean, I still have the fins on, right? <laughs> Will my thing charge while I'm doing this? I doubt it. Probably have to swim to get on the charge. They are called swim charge fins, by the way. Are there areas of this place that I have not checked out? I just, I don't know. Bean plant. 
course, I would come at nighttime, right? I'm so turned around. I don't even know where I'm at right now. I want to go up. I want to go up further. Here we go. Up there, yeah. Oh, this looks so cool. Screenshot worthy. All right, let's go this way because we need to get up there, and we were on the other side. So maybe if we just jump up here, go up this rock right here, we'll get up there. Looks like it. Don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Does it go all the way around? Don't remember how I got up here the first time. Looks like there's a trail, though. What's in here? Nothing. All right. So this is the first spot I want to look. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Got all these plants. Might as well eat while we're here, right? All right. All right, nothing in here. And that was it. That was it for this one. All right, what's the other one? It's over there, right? I can't see it because it's dark, but I know it's over there. All right, so we'll just go straight down and straight over. Or we could stop down here first. Yeah, this one's on the way. Let's just stop here and then we'll go up. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Come on, daylight. What we really need. Is in here anything? Nope. All right, we're in here. Nothing back this way. We search that. Let's go up. And there's nothing up here. All right, so we'll go up this way. Yeah, let's go up this way. And we'll go to this next structure. Hopefully there's something I missed in there. Wait, where is it? It's so dark, I can't see. Oh, it's that way. Okay. It's this one over here. All right, it's starting to become light again. Thank goodness. What's that little... Look at that little um, overpass right there. Or that ledge, or whatever you want to call it. Keep going. That's a tight little bit right there. Got how to get up here. Oh, here we are. All right, let's look around. Did we miss anything? Remember this data pad on this table. No, there's nothing. Oh my goodness. All right, let's look around. There was... There was that down there. 
there anything on this side? It looks like there's a trail that goes all the way around. Yeah, like there's like a trail. Does it go all the way around the island? Bobo tree. Holy hell, look at that. Why is it just a random PDA just like Oh God bless. This is the one I've been missing. See, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, did we just get coordinates or something? Because right here, what she says, got one already. We take what we can, carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site a couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. And then it made a sound like we found something. Okay, I think this is new, but it's not lit up. It's a signal proposed to Gassi Habitat. Is that new? Where is it? Proposed to Gassy Habitat. 250. Surely that's not like. It's about Life Pod 12. Okay. Let me look in this uh, around here a little bit more. I don't know if that's. Oh my God. I don't know if this has been in here the whole time or if that's what just showed up, but I don't really remember this. I, I'm sorry if I've already done this, guys. I really am. Um, I'm just nervous about moving forward without having done everything. You know what I mean? Uh, we'll take that off. Uh, let's take Life Pod 12 off. Let's just leave this one on. Proposed to Gassy Habitat. Okay. So this is just all the same plants and stuff. I've scanned everything. I'm just kind of looking close around here and make sure I have scanned everything, you know? This is a very cool island, though. And this is definitely probably the coolest spot in this game. In my opinion, anyway. Surely that's not, I don't know what that is. I don't know. We're going to go and find out. Even if this becomes redundant, I've already been there. I'm still checking it out, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is the little walkway I wanted to look at. I don't think I've been on this. 
Nothing to it, really. The water's nice. You know, I'm going to jump in the water. I'm going to swim over to the sea moth. Because this is getting annoying. What is this stuff falling? Yeah, I don't know. Looks like if it did that enough, then this whole freaking island would sink because it's floating. It's being held up right now. Propose the gassy habitat. Let's go. Let's see what this has in store. 250 meters deep. I'm leaving all this in here. I'm not editing any of this stuff out. I just want I want you guys to see what I'm going through trying to be as thorough as possible in this playthrough. It took me a while to kind of figure out how to navigate this game and I, I still don't I still don't have it, you know. I still don't have it down pat. But Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. The 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 third the gassy base was 500 meters down, so it, this can't be it. Unless this is in the jelly shroom cave. Is this in the jelly shroom cave? I think it is. Where's my life pot? Right here. I think this is in the jelly shroom cave. Yeah, it's the jelly shroom. All right. But you know, before I just found this thing. See, and I even said I have to be careful. So before I even found this on accident without getting that PDA. See, I'm just, I'm going back and doing stuff. This is wild. All right, let me get out and repair again. And we're gonna go get all of our modules and stuff in our inventory. Do I have enough inventory? Yeah, I got plenty of space on me. We're gonna go down here. But you guys aren't gonna have to watch me drive. I'm just going to Cut it to when I'm down by my sea moth that is stuck at the Degasi base. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I keep forgetting I can't go down there. I'm going to take the sea glide. Yeah, I keep forgetting. All right. We're going to have to take the sea glide and go down. It's only 300 meters. If I can find how to get through here, it's not straight down here. I can never find this right away. But we're going to get our modules and some of our inventory. I don't know how much inventory we'll be able to put in. There it is. There's the hole. There's the hole. Found it. Found it. Found it. No, 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 no. Oh, it didn't hurt me. Thank you. At least we can go down here and get in the sea moth and get some oxygen before we came back. I just left the light on too. Look at that. Sorry, Pete. Sorry you have been left here. And uh, not able to move. Let's access the upgrades because we're going to move all of these. We're just going to destroy it. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Upgrades. Upgrades. I messed up. Um, Yes. Leave that there. Okay. That was close. That almost destroyed everything that I have. Open storage. Take all this. All right. And there's more storage somewhere. I believe it's on top, right? Open storage right here. Oh, 
we're not going to be able to carry all this. We definitely need the ion cubes. Let's drop the salt. Um... Yeah, let's drink some waters. I guess we can drink at least two of these waters. One, two, three. Those are easy to get. Lithium's pretty easy to get. Well, so is titanium. So we'll we'll get the lithium and we'll just leave that. Well, now we have now we need room for all the modules. One. Two, three. We'll get rid of three. Yeah. Um, Pete, I hate to do it, Pete, uh, but we're gonna have to kill you, man. We need four spots. So one, two. Oh, we gotta empty it. Open storage right here. All right. I'll take it over here. We're going to drop it. Now the part we're all dreading. There. There. And Pete, you've been a good Seamoth. But I have to take the Seamoth Depth Module MK3. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Ah, all right. Let's not play around too long because I don't have oxygen. And I got to get back to Pete 3. So that I can get said oxygen. All right. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. All right, so now we just put the access the upgrades. Where is it? Uh, upgrades, 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 upgrades. Right here. Boom, 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 and boom. And we're good. And we should be good. All right. Damn, you know something? I could I could have taken that beacon and put it at the entrance here all right well you know now that we're here we're gonna go about two we're gonna go like right here is this where i'm gonna put the scanner room all right we're gonna stop right here for a second and i've got a still photo up you guys can see that i did create a scanner room and basically, it didn't find anything. I think if I would have built the scanner room before I found the Degassi base, then it probably would have picked up some data pads at the Degassi base, and I would have found that. But I built the scanner room here. It literally found nothing new, nothing new at all. And it took a while for me to build the scanner room because I had to like farm for materials and stuff like that. So I'm cutting it out of the video because it's just unnecessary. <laughs> it's unnecessary. For you to watch me build a scanner room to find nothing. But I did build a scanner room here. It's a place I can come if I need to find resources and I'm out this way. I don't know. But just want to let you guys know. But I think I'm going to add uh, some more to the main base. Finally build my apartment. So let's get right to that. All right. We're back at the base, guys. And we're going to have a little fun. We're going to do some building and just some adding on to the base. And um, this is kind of cut up into two different days, this video. You know, I quit recording at one point And here I am a couple of days later recording some more and uh, I was editing the first half of this video and I did realize uh, and you guys also told me in the comments that the whole strength for the base pops up in the top left hand corner well I have noticed that in the past what I was asking about when I said I wish I could see the whole strength is that I wish there was somewhere I could go I don't that would show me like I could go look at it whenever I wanted to so I could prepare what to do next you know uh, so if there is something like that I would like to know that but i'm not sure um but anyway uh, i think we were around 30 something on the whole strength and i guess if that gets down to zero that's when it starts to like break away and you have to repair it and put some more uh, reinforcement 
That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. But real quick, before we start uh, building in this base here, I want to show you something. Oh, I fixed the, the ladder. Uh, one, the ladder wouldn't go up here because my water filtration system is up top right here. And it wouldn't go... Uh, yeah, it wouldn't go there because of the water filtration system. It can't go here because of the doorway. So I was able to put it over here. And uh, now we're able to get up and down just fine. I might as well just... I oh, can't take that stuff out because I've loaded myself with titanium. But I want to show you guys something. Check this out. Check this little guy out. Now, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to swim around with my fish. Never seen this guy. He's a cuttlefish. And we can scan him. So we're going to do that. We're going to scan the cuttlefish. There he is. Indigenous life forms cuttlefish. Let's read about the cuttlefish. A small gray color herbivore, the cuttlefish displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Strangely, this species has not been encountered in the wild, and the scanned specimen had to be artificially hatched with an alien containment unit. So that's why. So they're not out there at all, but I found the egg when I was at the Degasi, the third Degasi base, and this is what I brought in, and this is what came from it. So. Sure, you guys might have been. This might have been like the type of egg you guys told me I found. That's a rare one. I don't know, and I don't know if there's even any more species like this or similar that you don't see in the wild, but you can hatch in the alien containment unit. So that'd be interesting to, to know. Don't tell me. I want to like. I want to explore and find some more eggs if that's possible. So, in the absence of wild specimens, little can be known for certain about the cuttlefish's life cycle. It's possible that environmental conditions have changed, forcing the species to edge of extinction. And it leaves its eggs in permanent stasis. It is also possible the cuttlefish has been genetically altered or even imported to 4546B from another world. We do know that the cuttlefish is a herbivore, which displays highly social behavior in its interspecies interactions. As we observed in Earth, dolphins before their extinction this creature seems to understand the concepts of others' minds. The prime indicator of true uh, sentence, sentience <laughs> and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps and chirrups. Evidence suggests the cuttlefish is capable of understanding and following simple commands. In addition to assessing the emotional state of individuals around it and responding in kind... Emotional connection between living creatures is an essential component of psychological health. So this guy's kind of like, this is the dog of the sea, right? <laughs> or the cat of the sea. Like, this this little guy or, or gal here will be more like our pet. And our peeper is very interested in us as well, uh, checking us out. And it also doesn't look like the stalker, if they're raised in here, they don't seem to be aggressive. And they don't seem to be eating the cuttlefish or anything else. Uh, my sand shark is also my friend. So interesting behavior inside the alien containment unit. And uh, I like the cuttlefish. I don't know if there's anything we can do with the cuttlefish. Because like this seems like, like in No Man's Sky you can make certain species like your pets or your companion. Um, not sure if this guy can do that. Maybe the longer we hang out with him, we develop a relationship. I don't know. Because you saw the peeper there. The peeper was like, came right up to me and was like, hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? And uh, we can't talk to them. So, yeah. Interesting. So, I like the cuttlefish. So, with that being said, it's time to do uh, some more building, right? So, we have this empty room up here. So, just for the heck of it, we're going to build some stuff. No, uh, I don't want to self-scan because that's just going to be upsetting because... It'll basically tell me I'm dying. So miscellaneous. So there's a vending machine here. Let's go get some glass. I have too much. I have too much uh, titanium. Let's get a row down here. Okay. Yeah, we need to keep these clean for clear for water too. So let's go get some glass. Uh, that means we're gonna need quartz. She and we did get a decent amount of quartz. Two, four, six. We can make three pieces of glass. Let's go do that. Yep, 
Yeah, thank you guys for sticking through this playthrough. And I'm just enjoying it so much. I'm not in a rush to get to the end. So I hope that's okay. I know you guys are ready for me to go down to the lava zone. And I understand. I'm ready to go down there as well. Like, at, like to that building. I'm really interested to see what's in that building. Here is this. And I want to put a vending machine down. Right here. And I'm curious. Does this generate actual food or is it for looks? Vending machine. Deconstruct. It's just for looks. Just for looks. That's cool. It wouldn't let me push it any further back, but that's cool. Uh, it's kind of crooked, actually. Let's see if we can straighten that up. Here, let's do this again. Vending machine. I think that's better. It's either better or as good as it's going to get. I'm fine with either one. Yes, a little bit closer to the wall. That's good. All right. So also, let's see what we can put in here. I think like a bar table, just like right here. Would be okay. Come up here and get some water. Get some snacks, right? Yeah, do something like that. Uh, see, we, do we have a chair, office chair, a command chair, a swivel chair. What is this? A trash can. All right, trash can. Let's just, uh, here, let's put it right here beside the vending machine. And did I put it backwards or is it like that on both sides? I think it's like that on both sides. All right. So a little trash can. What else do we have in here? We have a sign. We have a bench. We've done that. We have a desk, swivel chair. We need, we definitely need a chair in here. Uh, let's do coffee vending machine. Yeah, let's do that right here. All right. Yeah? What did it say? <laughs> little little robot voice let me know I have coffee now. That's cool. Alright, well let's um Let's just put an office chair in here. What do you like I mean we need a chair by the by the table. That was quick. Yeah, there you go. Uh not that we're gonna have any guests, but I just think it looks better with two chairs, wouldn't you think? There we go. Two chairs and a table. Got a coffee vending machine. Um, here, let's put some wall planner. Yeah, wall planner up right here. Maybe over here. Looking real nice. Okay. All right. Uh, let's put a, a sign up. We need copper wire for the sign. Let's go down. Let's go down and I'm not going to put, I want you guys to like help me out. I want you guys to help me out. If you're watching this still at this point, what do you suggest I put on the sign? I don't know. We got to come up with something cool, right? The, yeah, copper ore. There we go. All right. Let's go put the sign up. Do, 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 do. Let's go up to our little. Our little break room and we'll just put the sign like right back here oh it's a small sign i don't like that now so now it like the whole idea changes right so we can just coffee yeah something like that Hey, yeah, the whole uh, the whole like sign thing changes. I thought it was gonna be like a, I was hoping it'd be like like a neon sign or a big sign you can like put it here and you can like name your place, right? I don't know. I don't know. Like we have we have this. What do we have? This empty area right here. I mean, it's not too empty. We don't have to like overload this place with things, right? Uh, let's see. What 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 else do we have? What's here? So there's an aquarium. We could do like a a planter in here, like a chic plant pot. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, this is cool. Like we got wall planters over here, and we'll just put one like right here. All 
Now I have to, like, no, I didn't mean to do that. So I have to, let's see. Do I plant stuff in it? Use, use planner. Yeah, use planner. So I can plant stuff in here. So what do we need to plant in here? So we probably need some, this is probably a planner that would take like, uh, something from the, the dry island, right? You probably couldn't put underwater stuff in here because we're not underwater, of course. Duh. Okay. Yeah. So that's cool. So we will think about that and bring a plant or do we have any plants? Don't I have plants like in here or something? Maybe over here, maybe over here. That's underwater, right? Blue palm seed. Let's see if this will grow the blue palm seed. Let's see if that will grow. What else do I have? I don't know. Let's just check it out. Use planner. Will you go over here? No, it will not. Okay. So we'll not go in that. We'll have to find something smaller. Now I'm pretty sure this mushroom is like, I think that the speckled rat, I think that's underwater, like an underwater, but it goes in there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know. There it is. Well, and we got three more things we can put in there. We'll, uh, we'll make it look, we'll make it look real nice, I guess, you know, real, real chic in a chic plant pot or whatever. All right. Another thing that we have, we come back here. I believe we have yeah, like a poster. Keep calm poster. Yeah, we'll do that. And these seem to be the same prawn suit poster, prawn suit, but yeah, I could probably get rid of those. Uh, let's bring one. Don't know if we have any more room to put a poster up there, like on the walls. Uh, yeah, we could put one. Yeah, we can put one like right here. Let's put it down there. What do I do? Oh, okay. And then right here. Oh, look at that. Look at the little kitty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. All right. And we have another poster that we can put in here. Yeah, let's go number five and let's put our prawn suit poster here. All right. Prawn suit, MK3, promotional poster. All right, we like it. All right, so, you know what? I think this is, I think this is kind of cool. It's a nice, comfortable place. We got to put some stuff in here still. Got to put some stuff in this old planner right here. We could put another planner right here, like in front of the wall planners. Like, I don't think we can plant anything. It'll be cool if we could plant our own stuff, like, on this wall. But, I mean, that looks nice, too. That's kind of cool. All right, let me let me know what you guys think. Do you like my little my little room? I like it. Should I put anything up here? Uh, would it be too cluttered, right? Hold on, let's I, let me check something real quick. Let's see. Put this down here. I don't know. I want I want you there. Okay. What? How big is the aquarium? Like a wall aquarium would be super cool. This looks like it goes on the floor, like this aquarium. It's all right. We'll do that. We'll do that in the bedroom. All right. I think I'm good. I think I'm going to leave this, this wall blank. Got the wall planner here, the coffee machine. We can get water here. Let's get this stuff out of here. I like it. I like it. Get the kitten over there. We're good. All right. So let's go. That was fun. I like doing that. That was fun. So let's go out now. Do we have, what about our, we got, we're going to need more titanium. All right. Let me, let me figure out what I want to build and how I want to build out the base uh, first before I do anything. All right. The only way I see to like do this and make it just kind of look nice is this way. Right? So we're going to go here and we're going to do another compartment. Uh, I don't want to do a glass compartment. But we're going to do another compartment here. And then I've created a hatch on the other side here where I can get in from the back or I can get in from the front. I can still get in through the moon pool. So we're good there. Uh, but from here, 
I want to create. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna have to do this. And I think I want to do this. And then let's create another hatch right here. All right, so now we can get in this way and go up. That's going to be... Yeah, okay. All right. So let's... Can we do a ladder? Why won't the ladder connect? Come on. Oh, I'm out of titanium. I am out of titanium. Let's uh, let's get more titanium. Let's just load up with what we have. Maybe that's why it wouldn't work. It'd have to be this way. Yeah, so we got the vertical connector. Possibly I'm using the vertical connector incorrectly. I don't know. But uh, I was hoping... You know, I probably am. Alright, well this is not what we want to do then. What I wanted to do was to put this... A large room. We need... Alright, we need plastil ingots for this. Alright, let's go get plastil ingots... Oh, we may have to go on a titanium run for that. But you know what? Actually, I have titanium ingot here. Then I need to make another titanium ingot. So I think I got enough. I think I got enough with me. And then plastil is like titanium ingots and is it lithium. Yeah, two lithium. And uh, we definitely went on a lithium run as well. So yeah, one, two, three, four. And let's make the plastil ingots. All right, there we go. Let's go outside now. We're going to go up here and just go here. Large room. Will it not just connect to the top? Oh, that is a large room. Holy cow. Uh, they weren't kidding when they said large room. My goodness. All right. Um, will it connect to the back of the moon pool? I feel like the large room may have been something you needed to craft first first because this thing like just put the large room down like does it connect to a hatch like oh my gosh I don't know if I want to do a large room it just doesn't really fit the style of the base that I'm building right now also, I believe somebody was like suggesting the large that I build the large room for the alien containment unit because it has more room. Yeah, I didn't know you could put it in the large room because when I was reading about the alien containment, it said it requires the multi-purpose room. But I guess it it requires a minimum of the multi-purpose room. That's what I'm assuming. So I'm going to hold on. Why can't I deconstruct? Oh, there we go. All right, now we're going to... Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do another multi-purpose room. Uh, maybe I'll figure something out with the... With the... <laughs> With the large room later. But for right now, I just want to do this. And I'm also going to stack them. 
Uh, we need more titanium. Ah, uh, no titanium. Glad I made another hatch. We can get in from this way. Let's see how much titanium I have left. Oh, zero. There are none anywhere. There's some. And got a little bit. How are we looking on power here? Yeah, I think we're good so far. All right. Let's go back out and around. Let's construct this hatch first. There we go. Now we'll do this. There we go. So I guess we're going to come in here. And there'll be a ladder leading up to that. So let's do that. And so what I wanted to do up top. There she do, 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 do. I want to do a multi-purpose room glass dome up top. So titanium, lithium, and enameled glass. Now I'm going to get lost in my own, my own base. All right, let's just make glass real quick. We have some glass, but we'll just make glass. And then we'll go get some stalker teeth that I, uh, I farmed off camera. I farmed some stalker teeth. And we'll make enameled glass. We've had stalker teeth right here. Yeah, so we'll do... Let's do four. We'll do four enamel glass. We go, does it take two glass for one enamel glass? Nope, just one. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, and then I think we need lithium. Right? All right, now let's go out. Wait, where is out now? <laughs> there we go. Here's our exit. Hello, Rabbit Ray. So there we go. Boom. Maybe I should have put an observatory up here. Like you just kind of go up and sit and like look at the... Look at everything. I don't know. Alright, now before we get building anything else, I'm going to need... I'm going to freaking need like some more titanium. So let's go do that. Let's go get some titanium. Let me put all this stuff up, like the plasto ingots. Let me put all this stuff up, all this inventory up, and then we'll go get some titanium. All right, here we are up top, and I, li I like the little dome. I like the dome. It's kind of cool. We're going to go ahead and build like a double bed. I need some room, man. I don't need a single bed. I need some room, so we're going to build a double bed right here. Let's get that going. Now, I, somebody told me I could sleep, and I had no idea I could sleep. Yeah. That's really cool. Really cool. I can sleep. Um, so there's that. And what else do we need in here for our bedroom? Let's see. We need a desk. Yeah. Desk doesn't have to be in the perfect spot. But, you know, there we go. There's a desk. Is that crooked? Oh, God. Yes, it's crooked. Yes, it's crooked. I'm not going to be able to do that, guys. Let me see. Let's straighten it up here. I think that's the good spot right there. Yeah, we're doing that. That's the good spot. So we need a office chair. Let's do a swivel chair for this thing. There we go. Oh, we... <laughs> Can we swivel it? Can I just, like, can I turn around? Nope. Okay. We're going to have to, we're going to have to deconstruct that. Okay. And uh, turn it around. So that it looks real nice and proper. Like as I can't really tell. Okay. There we go. Now we can tell. So there's a nice desk and chair to get all the things that we need a desk for in this game. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. So uh, over here, definitely need the counter. Need a counter with some counter space. There. Let's do that right there. All right. Cool. So we got a counter. We got the room. Let's see. What else do we have here? We got desk, t 
table, single wall shelf. All right. So I just put it right above the bed. There's a shelf. And we'll put one right here. Sure, we'll put one over here too. Why not? Yeah, that looks good. What else do we need? Wall shelves. All right, and we'll do some shelves over here. That Those are blank. We could do more wall planners over here. What else do we have in here, though? Let's see. Counter, coffee machine, office chair, bench. We don't want a bench in here. Wall shelves. And yeah, we'll make it look nice in here. With the, with the wall planners right there. All right. Got the dome looking good. Uh, let's see. Let's go look at all the stuff that we have. I don't know what to do with this bottom room now. I probably shouldn't have done the bottom room. Now we have some stuff in here. We're going to bring that with us. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Yeah, we'll bring this with us. Um, that will bring the cylinder. Okay, that. Let's put these waters on us and drink them. We'll do another poster in that room. I think we got some stuff back here. Like right in here, what do we have in here? Got this, got this. Got a little toy car. Blue cap, I am a hat guy. Like there's all kind of hats around my, around my house. So this is pretty accurate. Do we have anything else in here? Got some fins. And uh, let's just, Let's put some of this stuff in here while we're here. Might as well. That goes in there too, huh? Okay. All right, let's go back up. We'll figure out what to do with this room. Let's see. What do we got up here? Let's see. You know what we want to do? I thought I, like, I scanned this doll, but I thought I also picked up this doll too. Maybe not. Let's construct it first before we start putting stuff down here. Let's construct it first. And we just need a glass, right? One glass. You know, I could move all my storage to that this bottom room. That would kind of be cool, I guess. All right, so let's do this. Let's put this guy here. You know who that looks like? And who I think it may be. I... Why is it telling me to scan this? I've already scanned this. Why did it do that? Why does it want me to scan it? Where's that music coming from? That was like Markiplier. I don't know. Let's see, what else we have here? Got this little car here. How'd I put it down? There it is. All right, cool. Uh, over here, we can put like this random stuff that we had, like this thing, right? Just put it up here. Being real funny. Put that stuff up there. Let's see, we got a, uh, well, there's something else we had. Oh, this thing. Non-functional microscope. It was, throw that down right there. Got a little glass here, a little cylindrical glass. Yeah, just put some random stuff right here. It makes it look, makes it look like I'm using it. <laughs> All right, this toy right here. You're going to go up here. Is it backwards? No, that's good. All right. And then we got another toy. 
that we can put up there. That, that's the Aurora, what it looked like before it crashed and crashed and burned. <laughs> we have nothing for the shelves, though, right? What can we put in the shelves? There's a there's a freaking hat right there. Um, I leave my hats everywhere. That's fine. I leave my hats everywhere. Got another colored hat right here. No rhyme or reason. Just hats everywhere. Got another prawn suit poster. Just throw it right here. All right, we need something for the for the shelves. But right now we have nothing for the shelves. Let's drink these two and get these out of inventory. Oh, we should have drank these. All right, but anyway, uh, that's a good start, right? So maybe I should have been picking up more stuff. Just to, like, pollute my room with random stuff. <laughs> so we did a chic plant pot in the other room. Uh, we'll put a composite plant pot right here. And I guess I can use that planter. So we'll have to get something to plant in there. And maybe we'll just do another one right here. Make it look real nice, you know. Could do them there, too. Oh, well, that might be too much. Oh, we could put an aquarium in this bottom room. Right? We can do an aquarium. We can do an aquarium and then do more storage. I need two glass. Yeah, I need two glass and then we can build that aquarium. I don't have to put some fish in it. All right, here we go. Let's construct the aquarium. Very cool. Now use aquarium so I'm guessing we put fish in there I could do a couple aquariums in here and then like just more storage I probably don't need it at this point all the storage we'll get a few fish we'll get a boomerang guy let's see what else we got what do we got? there's peepers there's one of these come here oh my gosh he's quick Gray fish. <laughs> Let's do a biter. <laughs> oh, I can't get a biter. <laughs> that would have been funny. Let's do a bladder fish. What else do we have? What about this? Can I catch that little thing? Yeah. Okay. We'll do those for now. All right. Use aquarium. Drop them in. All right, yeah, I got a few fish going. That's cool. All right, we'll finish this room another time. I think that's going to be it, guys. I, I like I like the bedroom. I like the bedroom. We need to get some more stuff for the shelves. Put some uh, put some more stuff on the shelves. But uh, I like the way the bedroom turned out. You know what? I didn't sleep. I want to see what sleeping does. There we go. That's a nice view when you're sleeping, right? And you just wake up the next day and okay, cool. First time, first time we've slept all game. He must have been tired. He must have been extremely tired. Yeah, but this room, I actually like the way this room turned out too. I actually like the way this room turned out a little bit better uh, than the bedroom. But no, that was fun. That was fun building these rooms and, uh, you know, putting stuff in them to make them look livable. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next episode, we will definitely head down to the lava zone, get ready for that, and uh, see what's in store in that alien structure. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Yeah.